the most professional accounting expert you want to be. Top five courses in the field of accounting. Part two of this video is the top five courses in the field of accounting that you can take up. If you missed the first part, which is the field of finance, please have a look. I've already mentioned up front that I'm not going to talk about chartered accountancy, the Indian CA. Because according to me, that's a very powerful combination of finance and accounts. And if you want to do both together, C is always there. However, in this video, I'm going to talk about accounting. Uh, some of the courses which you'll come to are obviously again similar to CA. They have a combination of finance and accounts. So don't nitpick over here. As long as you take up any of these qualifications, you can specialize in accounting, but you might also have finance knowledge and worldwide recognition. So with that, let me get into it. Course number one, CIA. This is on internal audit. Now internal audit, for those who don't know, is a field which is for disciplined people. If I'm, if you're working in any company, right? See, remember when you, when you work for a company, companies need to have a lot of detailed processes that ensure that the company functions smoothly. Because what happens is as you try to grow a company and there are more than a few handful of people, the accountability is generally on the management or on the shareholders if they are the same when they have employees if employees don't land up doing the work that is that is asked for employees job is at stake right but how do you ensure that unintentionally the employee doesn't mess up how do you ensure that unintentionally the customer doesn't suffer how do you ensure that unintentionally while everyone's trying to do the best the management doesn't have to let allow mistakes which have happened because of the lack of processes and systems and sometimes having processes and systems still land up incurring mistakes and to ensure that somebody is auditing auditing means somebody is checking the processes are in place every day so the promise is made to any customer from a company by the way it's not just promises to the customer but it eventually all rotates around the customer but anything right from marketing bit of how the communication is reaching the customer are the promises made in the marketing correct to the actual operations and servicing of, of the product whatever is being sold is it being manufactured correctly is the service being rendered correctly all the way to all the finance and accounting bit of you know is the company's invoicing correct is the tax that they're paying correct is the balance sheet and profit and loss correct all of this requires processes and an internal auditor make sure that he or she has to keep track of all the processes it's a, it's an upcoming field i know a lot of cas accas cpas are already internal auditors but a cia certification will make sure that you stand ahead of the rest option number two cma course which we've been conducting since a while i've become a huge fan of it after seeing the curriculum and what you can turn somebody into it's a short course it's a us based course somebody can finish it in a year less than a year six to nine months also if you'd want and you become super strong at management accounting Management accounting for me is better than financial accounting at a personal level because I like making decisions with numbers that can help advance the organization by my rules versus a lot of statutory and external, you know, rule based reporting structures or rule based accounting principles I have to follow. Management accounting is you have to, of course, follow some rules, but a lot of it, for example, pricing strategy. Pricing strategy is fun, according to me, because there are no rules. I have to follow a little bit of what the market does, what the cost is, etc, etc. But there is no principle that I have to follow that the price has to be this much. And that gives me a lot of freedom to make certain decisions become stronger and stronger at it. So, for example, CMA is very powerful when it comes to internal financial decisions. Right? So I would say CMA is for those who want to enter the field of finance and accounts, accounts more not get too bogged down by long, long certifications and yet have value. CMA is awesome. Option number three, ACCA. ACCA is global CA. Again, we made tons of videos at Zell. We basically specialize in ACCA because we started with that. We're luckily able to continue servicing the entire country with ACCA. We have rank holders every quarter and we are what we call platinum partners. So we have a lot of reason to suggest ACCA because we've seen the impact that students earn after they completed in India or overseas. Right? I've had a lot of stories where I talk about people landing up in Canada, in Singapore, in Dubai, in Australia, in US after completing ACCA in India. And if you are one of them, hopefully we'll be able to help you with that. So ACCA is also global CA, whether in India or overseas, super powerful, specializes in accounting and finance. But in this video, I have categorized it under accounting. 
ऑप्शन नंबर फोर सीपीए यूएससीए यूएस सी ए इज जस्ट लाइक ए सी सी एट ग्लोबल लेवल बट फॉर यूएस अगेन इमेंशली पावरफुल एज अ क्वालिफिकेशन एज ओनली फॉर एग्जाम समी कैन फिनिश इट इन अगेन अयर और इवन लेस ओनली थिंग इज इट रिक्वायर्स अ लिल एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर विच यू कैन अगेन लेट अस नो वील हेल्प यू आउट विद इट एंड इट्स अ लिटिल मोर एक्सपेंसिव टू कम्प्लीट एन यूर हाउ इफ यू हैव फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सिस प्लीज गो फॉर इट एंड स्पेशली इफ यूर एम इज टू गो एंड वर्क आइर इन द यू एस और वर्क इन यू एस कंपनीज इन इंडिया द pay packages for a fresher for cpa or acc is almost equal to that of a ca in india and option number 5 cima cima now cima is similar to cme uh, cma is us based cima is global but both specialize in management accounting so you know you can think of it like this for global ca we say acca and for global management accounting we say cima for us ca we say cpa and for us management accounting we say cma for indian ca we, we have our usual chart accounting and for indian cma we have something called an indian cma i i don't generally recommend indian cma for a lot of you guys because i know the kind of audience that follows us are not looking for a 3 year 4 year 5 year program on costing by the way if you are please go for that the indian costing is also an amazing option but i know people either want to do indian ca us ca global ca which is acca us cma or global cma Which is CMA. So CMA is again similar to CMA. These are just options for you all. I would say that if you want to go to UK or actually anywhere in Europe, then CIMA is better than. If you have to ask me, I would say CMA is more popular than CMA. That being said, CIMA is and I've seen the curriculum when I started. Oh, it's superb. It will at least definitely get you to become the most professional accounting. expert you want to be in the field of management accounting it is the best way to get yourself prepared to become a potential cfo because it teaches you everything except of course there's not the signing authority which some of you might want but cfos don't need signing authority irrespective of what a lot of people think cima can get you really ahead if your goal is to go international and be a potential cfo So I think guys, these are five accounting options. I hope that there's been value over here. A bonus, not a accounting, but a finance and accounting combined option, which is coming up in the future, is fintech. Take up courses on fintech. We are looking at launching courses on fintech with certain universities, which are well recognized. Hopefully, we can add again a lot of value to some of you all because a future of finance. While people, some people are worried with automation and all, finance will get redundant. It really, a lot of things will be more. software driven but will not really get rid of people's job unless we guys become complacent and to keep up we have to combine our understanding of finance with the progress of tech fintech is something which a lot of you all can have a great future in so i hope that this has given you some form of value i hope it's helping you guys and if you've missed anything as always leave it in the comments